climbed the Himalayas to bring you this rare flower. Oh, no way. This is for me? It's incredible. Hey, Amen! This is my dog, Nacho. Isn't he adorable? Ah! I gotta admit, most of the time I'm not into little dogs, but this one is cute, Tamara. Just like me. <laughs> to remind you what happened to Coco, your beloved hamster. But I've grown up since then. I'll be the best owner in the world. You won't have to do a thing. Come on, Dad, can I? Please? Beg all you want, Cindy. The answer's still no. You're right, thank you. No way am I responsible enough to have a pet. I'm lucky to have two loving parents who give such good advice. You see, Honeydew, with a little bit of firmness, any teenager will listen to you. <laughs> Show my crush, Ahmed, I'm cool as can be. Summon a canine that'll draw him to me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you summon me here? <laughs> I like what you've done with the place. You are not staying. This wand is buggy. I wanted to get a big cuddly dog, not a mean ugly wolf that talks. No, no, please don't. I can't go back to Fairyland. There are hunters after me. I'll meet my doom. Don't care, bye. I'll obey you and pretend to be your dog for as long as you want. Come on, I promise you I'll be a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your new dog? He's cool, what breed? He's a wolf. Uh, I mean, a wolfhound. His name is, uh, Coco. No one told me that your Auntie Vaughn had a dog. Oh. <laughs> Grandma, this isn't Auntie Vaughn, it's Wendy from my school. Uh, Cindy? <laughs> 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 they look like they're getting along. I've never heard my grandmother laugh so hard. What are you doing tomorrow? Do you want to hang out with us? Uh -huh. I get to go on a date with Ahmed! I get to go on a date with Ahmed! <laughs> this is the greatest! I should have got a dog ages ago! Not only did you disobey me, but you brought a dangerous fairy tale creature to the real world. You're being completely irresponsible. But Daddy, the big bad wolf swears he won't even hurt a fly. I promise he's changed. Just watch this. Don't you see? Wow, I've always wanted to have a pet like him to play with and take for walks. Yeah. <laughs> I've met a goldfish with a longer memory. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, you smell so lovely, Ferocia, dear. Which perfume is that? Nephilim number five? Get off of me, you filthy mutt! <laughs> sure, the wolf stays. He'll be our pet. But at the first sign of trouble, it's back to Fairyland. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Daddy! Love ya! Well, you were right about her, my Gregosaur. A little firmness was all that she needed. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. I know what a star you are, Pooch. Oh, I love you. <laughs> He's a seriously awesome dog. You're lucky, Cindy. Cindy? You actually just call me Cindy? 
Cinnamon pancakes for my special little wolf. Hi. Hello? Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> what? You want to hang out with me right now? No time to eat! I'm at the park! Oh. <laughs> she thinks she can beat me at my own game? <laughs> Do you mind watching my grandma? This won't take long. I hope you and Norma have fun. Ovid, wait for me! Mm. Norma! Uh, Norma! Uh, uh, uh. Ahmed! I'm sorry, I have no idea what happened. I looked away for one second, and when I turned back, she was long gone! What? <gasps> I can't believe you lost her! You might just be the most irresponsible person on the planet! You can't be trusted! I don't get it! She was just sitting there, right next to my dog! Let me guess, you're gonna tell us that your dog ate her! I've gotta go find my dog! Hmm? Please, Auntie! You're the only one who can help! He's crazy about you! You talking about the slobbering flea bag that keeps shedding his mangy fur all over my bed? You got it! Together we could send the wolf back to Fairyland and restore peace to the, uh, to your bed! <sighs> Let's hear it then. What's your plan for putting him in his kennel? Boy, in the prime of life, sent to a retirement home and dressed up like a grandma. Oh, this is a new law. Hello there, beauty queen. Hey, can it, prune guzzler? Put your dentures back in and take a hike. I'm sorry, Auntie. A little touch of naphthalene number five should be enough to lure the big bad wolf. Hmm. Huh? Okay, uh. we're ready to roll. Uh. <laughs> Hi. You must be playing hide and seek. Uh. Yvonne. You see that? She found my other knitting needle. Oh, yes, I looked everywhere for this, you know. <laughs> All right. Now say goodbye to your aunt. <laughs> hey! Bad dog! What are you gonna do about it, Cindy? <laughs> For a stroll through the forest with the girls. We brought your friend's puppy. <laughs> Thanks for finding her, Wendy. Granny, I want you to meet Tamara. She's my best friend. She helped me look for you all day. 
<laughs> it's a rat! Disgusting! Oh. Wait! Please don't run off again! Hang on! Hmm. I'm still trying to figure out if Norma was talking about you or your dog. <laughs> <laughs> We were out of pumpkin. Just a second, I'm on my way. Why, Officer Donnelly, what a lovely surprise. Ferocia, it's for you. I'm looking for the person responsible for this abomination. Smallish, chubby, toady mouth, butterfly wing hairdo. Does that ring a bell? You know what my toady mouth has to say about that? Don't make things worse for yourself, Ferocia. That paint on your hand makes your guilt obvious. Oh no, officer! Uh, Auntie was just helping me dye some old fabric black to make me a Zorro cape! And she doesn't really have a toady mouth. <laughs> See? Totally different. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to believe you this time. Lying is sucking nature to that kid. He could be so evil if he wanted to. Plus the square root of 64, which gives us a grand total of 731. Any questions, Tom? <gasps> uh, no questions, Miss Tinker. It's perfectly clear. <laughs> you haven't listened to a word I said, Tom. Can you tell me the square root of 159? Uh, if x equals 15 times 9, then, uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> hey, Squirt! Did you throw this ball? Oh, no! Uh, it belongs to those guys over there! Uh, definitely. I recognize it. You better go see the doctor. I think you're having a serious allergic reaction to pollen. Tom! How do you like my new hat? Uh, it's uh, magnificent. <laughs> it's the pollen. Allergic to lies? Oh, yes, that could be. Especially at your rate of lying. Such a promising kid. Oh, what a waste. It had better not be contagious. <coughs> Sorry, your hideousness. Didn't realize that was your scalp. I'm even allergic to other people's lies. Do something, Mom. Oh, you know I'm no good with medicine. Remember what happened when I tried to cure your father's stiff neck? Movies with Stan. I've done all my homework. Permission refused. That'll teach you not to lie to your father. <laughs> Can't you just catch measles like other measly kids your age? Oh, what's gonna happen to me? No real world medicine can cure this. Why don't we contact G? He can bring us a fairyland remedy. That's an Excellent idea. Let me get a message to him right now. Fly away, little bird. Mom, why don't you just 
use the phone. was fast till we hit the carpet jam, then traffic was real heavy at the real world border. Got the remedy? Nope, but I have the way of making it. Here's an alchemist buddy's almanac along with all his stuff. Yeah, cuz, <gasps> you should be able to wangle it with this. Alembics, chronic alligatorism, allergies. Allergies to glass slippers, to grandmothers. Ah, here we are, allergy to lies. Oh, let's see how many... Oh! Uh, is it bad? Well, no. You know what these medical books are like. Always describe the extreme cases. <laughs> let's see your tongue. Ah! Uh... Oh, it isn't forked yet. That's a good sign. <laughs> Sweetheart, you have nothing to worry about. With this magic book, alchemy is child's play. Look at the great little vaccination I've prepared for you. You're going to love this. Okay, let me test this out. Ferocia deserves a medal for good citizenship. No reaction. Well, that looks like it was successful. Oh, sorry. I didn't read about the side effects. Oh, great. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse. to your troubles, Tom. I made this up by myself. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't you trust me? Uh, yes, of course I do. <gasps> to be perfectly frank, I do have a few doubts. <laughs> there, it's already over. Go on, don't be afraid. Tell us a big fat lie. I'd rather go to the movies than clean my room. <laughs> Hang on, I, I meant to say the opposite. That's how clever this is, sweetheart. Thanks to the serum, you'll never be able to tell a lie. <laughs> no more lies, no more allergy. Isn't that a clever idea? <laughs> but my darling dragonfly, what will happen to us if Tom can't lie? I don't know what you have against the truth. It's fresh and it makes for a nice change, doesn't it? To be frank, I'm not certain this excessive honesty is the best way for us to remain anonymous. A family of monsters are among us. The freaks have landed. His father is an ogre. Exclusive pictures. The witch spills the beans. Why not use a guinea pig to try out your antidote? Less of a risk. A guinea pig? For an allergy to lies? But those animals don't talk, do they? Oh, and they shed hair everywhere. <laughs> What's the problem? I inoculate you with Tom's allergy, find the vaccination, and that's all there is to it. One more word and I'm calling the SPCA. Come on, Your Highness. You're the only one who will never be questioned. So you won't have to lie. Mm hmm? Your family's worth a little sacrifice, isn't it? No. Okay, whatever you want, Your Highness. But if I happen to mention, despite myself, of course, that a talking toad lives with us, real world scientists are going to be very interested. <laughs> Well, we could talk about it. So we agree. Full princely privileges for an entire month, as much royal jelly as I like, and sole use of the armchair facing the TV. Uh, so what do you want me to do? Sign a contract? 
No need. Your state of health encourages me to take you at your word. <laughs> well, Your Highness, first, let's take your temperature. Huh? I knew it! And you denied it all these years. <gasps> what about that garlic clove in my sandwich just before my first date with Charles? That was you, wasn't it? So, how's your yucky illness? All gone now? Almost. Mom's been working hard. Great. I was so scared you'd get into trouble because of that mm. stupid allergy. What were you doing outside, Aunt Ferocia? Oh, just expressing my artistic nature. See, it's normal. It says right here under possible side effects. Slight gas. <laughs> Did you find the cure? School starts in half an hour. Half an hour? I think that might be cutting it a bit close, kiddo. <laughs> Come on, your highness, it's nothing serious. <sighs> Always making such a fuss. <laughs> You liked my hat, but don't you just love my dress? Uh, it really is... Uh, ridiculous! You must be out of your mind to buy such a hideous dress! <laughs> your elixir is almost ready. Any special taste you want? Anything but strawberry. You're saying you didn't feel like doing your homework and you watch TV instead? What has gotten into you, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Zero for history and conduct. And stop acting the clown. It's terrible. It changes every two minutes. <laughs> it goes without saying that I'm redrafting the terms of my contract with Tom. <laughs> He's going to hear that he got you from me. Oops. Now, come on. Don't get angry like that. When I say Nat's brain in an elephant's body, it's the truth. <laughs> Well, at least he didn't bite your ear off. Yeah, that's really great. Well, the best thing about today is that it's over and I don't have to. Ambrosia! Ferocia Ferrickson, you are under arrest. <gasps> Did you hear that, darling? Just like on TV. <laughs> This was on the sidewalk, your membership card to the Horror Film Festival. Where were you last night between 9 and 10 o'clock? Knitting. Can anyone back this alibi? Nothing to add, Tom? You're usually very prompt to defend your aunt. Aunt Ferocia went out at 10 past 9 last night, and I saw her come home at 10. There was paint on her hands and on her dress. So there! Uh, huh? Well done, Tom. You had the courage to do your duty. You should be proud of yourself. Take her away! Oh, yes! You can be proud of yourself! I couldn't help it, Aunt Ferocia! Oh, traitorous godson, never speak to me again. I gave my life's blood, my life's energy, to teach him to tread the path of evil, and he stabs me in the back! Tom has to come to the station to sign a statement with you as a parent. I didn't do it! You're lucky I'm not 
You're 20 years younger, Donnelly. I'd have changed you into a stinking cockroach. Lock her up in the cell and make her stop yelling! Uh, you should be tolerant, officer. My aunt can't help acting like a witch. That's what she is. Oh, don't pay any attention to him. His mother read him too many fairy tales. <laughs> Huh? I didn't see this note. Always try the cure-all remedy before attempting to mix your own. What cure-all remedy? Cure-all remedy? How did I miss that? You mean Tom and His Highness went through all those transformations for nothing? Oh, please, Your <laughs> Highness. Don't look at me like that. Where's your sense of humor? <laughs> Go on now. Tell us a lie. I am very ugly. Uh, why not try a really big lie? Uh, just to be sure. Mm. I am an unbearable, puffed up little toad. Will that do? Your manners and breeding are impeccable! Hey. Get going, Uncle G. And don't get lost on the web! Because of me, my aunt is going to go to jail? It'll do her good, son. Excuse me, just for a moment. <laughs> just in time! Uncle G, you're the best! Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. But if you could just imagine the number of screens I tried before I came to the right one. What we need now is a great big lie to save Aunt Ferocia. Okay, what have they got against her? Uh, your statement? Ferocious membership card with her photo, her scandalous reputation, not to mention her awful attitude which won't go down well with the jury. Well, I guess that's a lot. But if I get busy, I can... Sir, I've been thinking this over, and I can't help doubting Ferocious' responsibility. Let us consider perhaps that- Don't waste your breath, Tom. I have two signed confessions. Graffiti artist did this. Your aunt is innocent. Really? Once again, please forgive me for this appalling mistake. That's no problem, officer. But Ferocia might not be too willing to forgive. You know she has quite a temper. Uh, send me three more men as reinforcement. Yeah, in riot gear. <laughs> you should have seen Donnelly's face when he made his apology. <laughs> and thanks to that fool, I met some really nice people in the cell. Are you still angry with me for turning you in? Ah, uh, I'll forgive you for exceptional circumstances. <laughs> After all, we can't choose our mothers or our fathers. Ferocia, we don't always see eye to eye, but I'm really sorry I doubted your innocence. That's... that's wrong. 
Innocence, schminnocence. No need to exaggerate. What do you mean? Oh, no! All out of ammo! Oh. Who do you think you're gonna impress with those girly scribbles? What? Why not start with that wall over there? You gotta think big, for devil's sake. <laughs> I really like those kids. No problem, Tom. Well, see you guys. Bye. Oops, this ain't the right way. Suspicious-looking liquid here. What is happening to you, lad? You're covered in bizarre spots. Now well, maybe you're allergic to pollution. You better see a doctor. Hmm, <laughs> Yes, but it needs something. Cindy, would you be so kind as to pass me the salt? Thank you. Sweetie, how was your day? I had a really tough math test. But it's all good. I'm pretty sure I aced it this time. Hmm, Cindy? Ugh, fine. Normal. Hmm. Is that your crush? Ooh, he's cute. No, stop lurking! Have you people ever heard of privacy? Come on! Why can't I message my friends without everyone bugging me? Ah! <laughs> Darling, what if we uh, want to chat? Copier, sign up for yourclique.com. First name, all right. W I L L O W. Oh, 1200 more questions to complete your profile. Profile's complete! Oh, yay! <laughs> Invite your friends. Probability is the study of chance or the likelihood of an event. Today, we'll be talking about it. <gasps> ah! Stop it right now, Mom! What's wrong? This way, we can talk all the time. And if you accept my friend request, you'll be able to see all the photos of you I posted. My life's over. <laughs> Wanna hang out at the mall later? Hey, could we go with you? No, you can go with your mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 
What's your password? Hmm? <laughs> Profilus Removus. Hello? Hey, your roses are looking super pretty, Mrs. Lumberg. Is everything all right? <laughs> uh, of course, sorry. It's my back. It's been acting up, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to her? Uh, Mom, you in there? It's Tom. <laughs> <gasps> Cindy. Admit it, you stole Mom's wand again. I might have borrowed it to delete her Your Click profile. So, what's wrong? Well, whatever you did, you erased our mom. It's like her brain's not in her body. <laughs> you sure she had one in the first place? <laughs> My honeydew. What's wrong with you, sweetie? Okay, everyone needs to calm down. I can solve this problem. Let's not panic. Hmm. We just need to set up her Your Click profile again, and she'll go right back to normal. All right, Willow. She was born in 1623 under the sign of the unicorn. Oh, hi, my name's Willow. I was born in 1623 under the sign of the unicorn. Perfect. Thank you, Cindy. Now we can finally eat dinner. That's gonna have to wait. But I'm dying of hunger, you tyrant! Relax, Your Highness. I'll be done soon. Oh, my favorite game's tic-tac-toe. Oh. oh, and I love pretty seashells. And I would love to be provided with <gasps> some form of nourishment! How far did you get? It's 2% complete. Ugh, I'll be even older than Mom by the time we finish redoing her profile. Uh. Most computers have trash folders that store deleted files. What if Mom's head is in one of those? Tom, how would we find the folder? You'd have to literally climb into her brain. What? Forget it. Yeah, yeah, I'll go. You guys win. Here, make sure that you communicate with us while you're in there. Wow, Cindy, it's like you're a bug. A bug? It's mine! Cindy! <laughs> Spit out my daughter! That is so disgusting. Hmm? What's next, smart guy? Hang on, let me check. Duh, drat. I'm going to be hungry forever. Unless... <laughs> I want to serve toast and caviar to his highness. I want to serve oh. toast and caviar to his highness. It's his favorite meal. <laughs> After all, we can't forget that he's a growing toad. He needs lots of nutrients. Stop that right now, your highness! <laughs> You can't think of anything but your stomach! Minoga doesn't need food. Well, it's been confirmed. I've seen it all now. Ah! Oh. I want to cook some frog's legs for my beautiful sister, Ferocia. <laughs> Stop playing around on the computer. I'm seeing some really weird stuff. Oh. Ah! Huh? There's even a frog! Follow it! Ah! It could be headed to her memory bank. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, please stop! I want to cook some delicious frog legs for my beautiful sister, Ferocia. Cindy, what are you doing? Hurry up! Ready, ready! Uh Bingo! Huh? Hi there! What's the password, please? Uh, can you give me some kind of hint? Hint number one is bright as the sky, apple of my eye. Ha! Obviously your eyes are blue. Sorry, that was incorrect. 
You have two more attempts before my memory vault is locked permanently. Here's Willow! Wait, wait! Could we discuss this like adults? Maybe over a home-cooked gourmet dinner with variety of courses? Uh, could you give me another hint? Proceeding to hint number two. By any measure, my greatest treasure. Aha! Got it! It's your magic wand! Sorry, that was incorrect. You have one more attempt before my memory vault is locked permanently. A little more salt, your highness? A little more salt, your highness? Why, Crowell? Come on, you can do this. Think! What's the one thing that Mom loves the most? Of course! Cindy! Oh, Pan Tom. Ah! Aww. Oh, Your Highness, what are you doing in there? You need some cooking lessons. You're supposed to simmer the sauce, not go for a swim in it. Thanks for the tip. Welcome back! Oh, my honeydew! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> that is so disgusting. And after dinner, I'll draw a bubble bath for her. I thought an ice bath might be nicer. <laughs> now, isn't this fun? Just us two. It reminds me of when you were a little tiny baby. Hmm. Hey, what's up? <gasps> no way. Lorenzo? That's amazing. So is he going to hang out with us? I have to go do something. Call you back later. Don't you want to know who that was? <laughs> no, I'll respect your privacy. Here, it's your turn. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>